My name is Alex Beresford. I'm a TV presenter from Bristol and I'm the new ambassador for Empire Fighting Chance. I've decided to become an ambassador for Empire Fighting Chance because I believe that their values are the same as mine. I really believe in the work that they do. I've done similar work in the past and I think it's great that we can join up together and I can also help them and also shine a light on the charity and the great work that they do. I'm a Bristol boy. I'm passionate about Bristol, certainly passionate about inner city areas. Uh, I've grown up in and around here myself. So for me, it was a bit of a no-brainer. Empire Fighting Chance is at the heart of the community. I've always had an interest in boxing. My great-grandfather was a boxer. His nickname was Dublin Curly. My grandfather grew up teaching us how to box in our living room. I like to go into fights. Um, so yeah, I'm really passionate about the sport and also the discipline that it brings. And I think that's what is great about Empire Fighting Chance. It is bringing that discipline through sport and fitness. But here they're also doing so much more than just boxing. It is about several different things outside of the ring. And when all those things come together, the kids stand a real chance. Empire Fighting Chance and myself, we have the same values. Um, I feel that we've got the same approach when it comes to you know, tackling antisocial behaviour, um, working with kids that have unfortunately fallen into gangs, working with kids that are on the periphery as well. Uh, you know, I, I believe that you know, us coming together, we could make a, a real impact in the city. This is the great thing about boxing. In any other sport, the sportsmen and women aren't always accessible. But here at Empire Fighting Chance, we're right in the heart of the community. And boxers normally train, you know, in a gym which is situated in the community. So when the kids walk through this door, they become inspired very quickly because we've got world champions in this gym that they can look up to and they can see just how hard they're working and how they prepare for a fight and how much discipline that comes with. When I talk to young people, the one thing I always say to them is always try your best, work as hard as you can in school so that you only have to do it once because school is such a short period of time in our lives but it is the foundation and it does provide a certain amount of discipline um, for us to go forward in life. So I always say work hard, believe in something, don't put any barriers in your mind, let your mind go wherever it wants believe in yourself even when you think that you can't do it still have a go if at first you don't succeed try try again bit of a cliche we've heard it all before but you know these things really do work um, and and try and pick something that you're passionate about you know knife crime is an epidemic up and down the UK at the moment I was um, What's the right word? Fortunate, unfortunate enough to come here uh, and meet a young person, um, you know, that has carried a knife in the past. But through coming here and filming and meeting that young person, I quickly realised that deep down he's a good person and that he doesn't really want to leave his house with a knife. And for me, it's about spreading that knowledge and, and giving people a better understanding as to why young people leave the house with a knife. And when I say why, I'm not looking to make excuses because under no circumstances should you leave your house with a knife because as we know statistically, you're more likely to get hurt by your own knife than somebody else's. So it's really important to you know, work with these guys, identify the reasons as to why this is happening. Once you understand the reasons, then you can put a plan together and move forward. But if you don't understand the reasons with all the will in the world, even though your heart might be in the right place, you're not gonna fix it.